June-July marks the end of the 2021-2022 academic year, and with that comes graduation season. This year, in particular, has had much to celebrate as the education sector continues to navigate with the easing of COVID-19 restrictions, seeing the return of many school activities. Besides the return of mass gathering activities at schools, this year also notes the first cohort of students writing CPEA, the return of the laptop program, and government payment of facilities fees to government primary and secondary school institutions. Minister for Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, Honorable Sean Edward, joined several secondary and primary schools' graduation exercises. His message was wrapped around students' ability to ultimately chart their destiny through hard work, commitment, and remaining hopeful and resilient in times of uncertainty. You can be in an environment like this at the Olio Combined School and achieve anything you want to achieve. Don't let anybody, whether they are in this audience, at your home, elsewhere, tell you that you cannot achieve. That is false. That is not true. Every single one of you seated here today, every one of you, you have the potential to become great. You have the potential to become outstanding citizens in St. Lucia. And you have to believe it. When a young person in the Caribbean today can successfully complete five years at secondary school, we have a lot to celebrate and to be proud of. And so I want you to give yourselves a round of applause. Minister Edward took the time to also speak directly to parents and encourage them to continue to support and invest in their children's general welfare as their presence ultimately makes a difference in their children's lives and can help shape more positive outcomes. Parents, continue to support your children. We are living in a world today where land does not have the value it used to have before. We are living in a world today where material things, they're important because they give us a certain degree of comfort in life, but they do not mean everything. The best investment you can make is in the education of your children. And sitting to my immediate left here, right here this afternoon in rich form, we have doctors there. We have lawyers there. We have engineers and teachers and honest police officers here. This group of students will be remembered as the first set of students to engage in graduation exercises after the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic. It also marks Minister Edwards' first graduation season since becoming Minister for Education. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology, and Vocational Training, I am Daniel Dubois reporting.